So now that we've outgassed, we, I'll I'll just de-gap. review what we would do if we, were, we wanted to manually inject uh, the connectors with epoxy. And basically what we'd want to do is take off the syringe cap uh, stopper, place the syringe tip on, and simply just use this plunger and manually inject epoxy into each connector. So basically what we have here is our pneumatic dispenser. Uh, has two basic settings. Uh, it can hold up to uh, uh, probably 10, 10 or 20 recipes, but uh, normally speaking in a fiber optic process you're only using one or two uh, epoxy types. So um, the nice thing about this, it only has two real variables to deal with and one is pressure, the other one is time. They're going to vary just slightly depending on the uh, epoxy selection that you have. Some viscosities are a little bit higher or lower, so you might have to vary these a little bit. Um, typically, I set this for about 60 PSI and uh, do one to three shots depending on the connector type at a certain duration. And what I've selected here is just 0.8 seconds per shot. So basically what we have is the interface of the pressure tube that connects right onto the syringe itself, push it in, and lock it with a twist, quarter twist, and that's ready to go. It can sit in the holder until you have your connectors ready to terminate. Uh, I have here four connectors that I'll quickly demonstrate how to inject the epoxy in. Uh, you can't see it from this view, but there is a foot pedal that operates this pneumatic dispenser. Each press of the foot pedal will uh, dispense a shot, quote unquote, shot of epoxy based on the time and pressure that I've set here. And I'll just quickly do a little dispensing here on the Kim wipe so you can see more or less the size of the dot that's going to come out. I need to bleed the air out of the first couple of shots. So when I first uh, connect my syringe tip, you want to make sure that from start to finish you're getting a, uh, a dot of epoxy. And so we're ready to go. And this is what we can expect to see. Uh, in our connector. So basically what we want to do is just before each injection we want to quickly wipe the tip of that syringe to make sure it's clean. Uh, align the connector such that you can easily insert the syringe tip and we want to inject that, push that in until we feel it bottom out against the uh, ferrule inside. I'm going to tip the ferrule up and just kind of hit the pedal one time and a second time there and as you can see uh, the, the epoxy has already started to uh, form a bead on the tip of that ferrule and that's about perfect right there you want the bead to cover around um, 25 to 30 percent of the surface area of the face of the connector to be ideal so as you can see quickly uh, once you get that first initial setup going, uh, the process of filling connectors actually can go pretty quick. Now based on the epoxy selection, the pot life of your epoxy could vary anywhere from a half hour to up to four hours. Um, if you find that the epoxy that you selected has a short working life, uh, one of the things that we can adjust on this dispenser is to either adjust the, the time to give it a longer shot, or what's a little bit more common is to turn up the pressure so as not to uh, make your process too long. <clears throat> a third option would be simply to give that uh, connector instead of two shots an extra third shot. So many options here for filling connectors. Uh, at this point, uh, these connectors can be staged at the termination part of the process and they're ready to be terminated onto the fiber.